This welcome back to Custom Painted Gun Stocks. We got this Vepper 12 gauge all done. That so, ain't uh, a Vepper 12 gauge. Well, excuse me, not the Vepper 12, but the Ivor Johnson. We got yeah. we just got done with the Vepper 12. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. So I, I got so many of them going through my head right now. I don't know what to have in my hands. So, <laughs> but uh, anyway. Uh, we got this thing finished, 100, what was it, 113 years old? Yeah, it's a, over 100. So if you watch part one all the way up to what, part five, six, seven or whatever, we showed all the different uh, stuff that we did to this gun. And uh, this is the one that was all pitted up and uh, had pits all through the barrel. With it, we put a Duracoat finish on and well, we took a lot of the pitting out. And uh, some of it we had to do a little bit of filler work. I ain't gonna lie because some of it was pretty bad. There's yeah, actually even like a little pinhole somewhere up in here. Might even have, have a hole all the way through the barrel. You uh, never that's know. right. So anyway, we put this nice looking wood grain on there that looks a lot like the, you know, the old style wood grain that, that we wanted to achieve that we talked about in the videos earlier. Right. And uh, so there's the more of it. So that's called the uh, espresso wood grain is what it's called. So anyway, Tony shot last time. Yeah, I and, shot the ugly out. Yeah, and it hurt his shoulder. He said he, he said his shoulder was actually still hurting. So, yeah. you know, and that was like how long ago? couple weeks ago or it's more. been maybe a month maybe a month yeah it's been a while so anyway i'm going to shoot it today and hopefully this ain't not blow up my face and it blow up in his yeah well it's that was cleaner now i was gonna say that was before we took it apart and we put it back together so that's right and we did that too so you know so i think we do all right though. you might you might want to put some protection on or something yeah well we're gonna we're gonna try this thing out it's a little stiff right now closing up and out I think a few times after a ship post fired and more shoes, the looser it'll get. You know, yeah. so when you take them apart like this, especially a, the uh, single shot or double barrel, they seem like they're just a little bit tight when you put them all back together. But they work themselves back loose again. Yeah. So we oiled this one up real nice and it seems like everything works out fine on it. So we're going to try it out today and see if this thing still will work. I believe it will though, Tony. Well, I'm so, praying it will. I hope my shoulders can make it through this and i don't break it so it won't you'll we'll feel how, it for a couple days yeah we'll see how she does then beautiful it's loud and it ejects yep so before we had that problem you want to shoot it again no i'm fine you want to shoot it who me yeah no i don't know i'm fine okay well it ejects it shoots it does well so I think we're doing a good job. I think it's time for the customer to come by and get his old gun back, and he's uh, he can shoot it now. And hopefully we'll do that what Saturday. Saturday. Try to do it Saturday. Yeah, probably so. So uh, anyway, uh, everything held up nice. The stock didn't bust all up at me in pieces. It had several cracks in it. So we had to glue everything back together and fiberglass everything, but everything works good now. So uh, project done. Now we gotta move on and get all the other projects done, don't we, Tony? Yep. Maybe we'll start talking about that Pepper 12 again, even though we're already done with it. Yeah, but we're everybody likes it. it again. Everybody likes it. Everybody, I like it too, because I want one myself. Yeah. Oh, my and we got to do a video for the Archangel. I don't we know. We'll do that. I don't got, know if they've we, seen we that on yet. The Archangel, we do have a, we do have an action coming in for it on Friday. Yeah. So uh, we're going to be cleaning that up, and we're going to be probably dirt coating that and putting that in that real green line looking incredible hulk green that type color that tony likes so much yeah he had a fashion that infatuated with an incredible hulk yeah that, you wouldn't like me when i'm angry you wouldn't like him when he's angry so we're gonna break that thing out I, we might just name it that we might just name it the incredible hulk angel yeah you know so there we go that's a good name for it hulk angel hulk angel there we go so anyway we'll probably shoot that well, it'll probably next week sometime. Hopefully we can get that and, uh, done up. We don't know what kind of shape this action is going to be when yeah. we get it in barrel, you know, for that because, you know, it's a, it's an old, you know, Mosin again. Yeah. But uh, hopefully it's in pretty good shape to where we can uh, fix that thing up. And we got two more coming in that we're going to fix up. We're going to do something different with. I'm going to say uh, a lot of those Mosin again, they are over 100 years old or they so. They are. And uh, like I said, subscribe to our channel. And because we always have videos, this one right here, uh, like I said, a lot of you might be looking at this like, why well, in the world would they put so much money or time into, you know, an old Ivor Johnson like that? But it's like I said, if you went back to part one of the video when we talked about when we took the gun in, the guy just wanted it fixed up. It was his yeah. grandfather's gun they found it in the old barn. The stock was all in bad shape. You know, it looked like it just needed to be thrown out. And he's like, man, if you can fix this thing up, 
and make it where it could shoot and make it original again, make it look nice again. I'll pay you a million dollars. He said you'd pay us a million dollars. So, so we've done it. We've done it. So uh, anyway, uh, you know, I, I don't think he took it serious, did he? Uh, he? Apparently not. Well, anyway, we're going to call him. Yeah. We're going to try to get that million dollars yeah. out of him. We'll let so, him write us a check. Yeah, as long as we can, you know, he yeah. might make us hold it, though. You think yeah. he might make us hold it? Maybe for a day or two. Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, subscribe to our channel. we got a lot more videos coming up, and we're going to be doing a lot more. we got a lot more projects going, you know, going on that we're going to be uh, doing a video on. we got an AR-15 that, that hopefully we're going to have that done pretty soon for, you know, for a competition shooter, for yeah. Christian Swan, that we did the pepper for. Yeah. And uh, hopefully we're going to have that ready to go, and we're going to test fire that. I can't wait for that. I like shooting those. Yeah. So, uh... But uh, anyway, uh, we got a few more projects going on. We always have them going on, Tony. So yeah, you know we uh, can't keep track of them. I'd like to do a project for myself. Wouldn't you like to do a project for yourself? I sure would. But we'll do projects for anybody. If you want to send us your gun and us do a video documentary on it, we'll be glad to do it. Yeah. It don't matter what it is. It could yeah. be a Oliver or it could be a, you know, if it's an Iver Johnson, it's gonna be a million dollar minimum. Yeah, a, me a, a minimum. Minimum. Yes, yeah, since we already got a yeah. million dollars for this one. We want a couple million, you know. Yeah. Now, you know. They say when you make your first million, they said your second million becomes easy. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we're going to. You know how to make a million dollars in NASCAR, don't you? How you do that? Spend two million. <laughs> That's true, yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway, but uh, thanks for watching again and stay tuned in with us. And we're going to uh, keep posting videos for you guys. We're going to keep you entertained and subscribe to our channel or check us out on Facebook too, Custom Fan and Gun Stocks. Check out Tony at Hillbilly Customs. And, uh, Go to our website and check our website out. Uh, some of the stuff that we've done and our contact info and, and more stuff to look at there at, at uh, custompaintedgunstocks.net. So, again, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.